The Ketika Committee of the All Progressive Congress in River State has accused the state government and River State Independent Electoral Commission of acts of impunity in the preparation for the conduct of the October 5th local government election in the state. The Ketika Committee Chairman of the All Progressive Congress, Tony Okocha, disclosed this in a press briefing at the party secretariat in Port Harcourt. Okocha warned that APC would not stand idly by and allow such practices to continue unchecked. He specifically pointed to the governor's determination to proceed with local government council elections despite a recent court ruling against it. Under what law is, it, is this local government election going to hold? What is the appropriation? Who appropriated the funds? For local government election to hold. So you see illegality, impunities, and on this, seeing the level of desperation of the government, who after the judgment of the Federal High Court came and got to him, drove straight to INEC of a uh, recent office to march them to continue to hold the election and to say that if the CAE security agents here that he will deal with them. Has he not confirmed that we are no, no we are not comfortable, can't be comfortable to conduct or contest election where the governor himself is the chairman of an agency of government that is responsible for the same election. Shall we take this absorbs and when will it end? We are here as a party, as representative of the party in the state to say that we will not accept this impunity. The publicity secretary of the KTK committee, Chibuike Kenga, alleged that the River State Independent Electoral Commission and the River State government have a penchant for the disobedience of court orders and judgment, which he described as a recipe for crisis in the state. Secretary of the KTK committee, Eric Mwibani, described the governor visiting the office of the State Independent Electoral Commission as an infringement on the rights of other parties taking part in the election. There is need for the courts, for the judiciary itself, to take positive steps to ensuring enforcement and compliance to their rules and judgments. By that way, citizens of Nigeria, particularly River State, as River State government and River State Independent Electoral Commission had signposted that whatever decisions that are taken at the courts will not be obeyed and that nothing will happen. And as we speak today, nothing is happening. We implore the federal government as the leader of the three tiers of government to intervene to ensure that rule of law is obeyed. Nigerians must know that the River State Independent Electoral Commission, which is being controlled by the River State Executive, is about to go outside of court judgments that are bad, all the institutions that are business in the conduct of local government elections and the other elections in Nigeria from doing so. That will not be nice for our democracy. Democracy is about laws, it's about the constitution, it's about statutes, and all that is being set aside because somebody or some persons want to achieve one aim or the other. Tony Okocha called on all agencies involved in the local government elections to respect the law and urge well-meaning individuals to intervene and prevent the governor from turning River State into a lawless state. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.